Hi everyone, day 6, no, day 26 and today's prompt is pinball. I almost just printed a picture of a pinball machine and stuck it on the card, but no, I thought I must stretch myself, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> So just doing the flipper section there and where the door, ball goes down the trap. And I had problems trying to draw the flippers, you know, so they match. So I just drew one separately on some cardstock, traced it and used that for both of them. Oh well, I probably should have just, um, to make it easier on me, I should have just used the cardstock that I traced it onto, cut it out and just pasted them down on the page. Would have been a lot cleaner. Oh well. Hindsight, eh? So, I've drawn it, such as it is, and now going to colour it. So, what am I using there? Some sort of blue. Cobalt blue. And I don't know, maybe my brushes, maybe the gesso underneath, but it's just messy looking. There's no smoothness about the paint being um, applied there. You can see all the ridges of the gesso. I must try maybe golden gesso next time and see if that makes a difference because this is... Liquitex Basics. So yeah, we might try that. So I'm just masking it off to add another colour. Trusted my um, steadiness there with the um, blue side. I do go all right, except at the end I think I just done an extra brush stroke and stuffed it up. No, oh, well not stuffed it up, but just went outside the lines. Oh well. Yep. Now pulling the paint off. This is great pa uh, tape. If I find the, um, actually I'll stop it now, I'll have a look for the name of it. So there it is there, Purple Tape by iCraft. It's manufactured by ThermoWeb in um, Wheeling, Illinois. So there you go. Great tape, does not rip the paper underneath and can be used over and over again. So well, here I am tracing over those flippers with the um, cardstock flippers that I p cut out. Ah, taping it up now to paint the um, second blue colour. This one is cerulean blue I think. Yep. And this one didn't paint up too well either. Really scratchy and blotchy and I don't know. You'd think I would have put this circle down there as a um mask but no I made it hard for myself I go over eventually with another coat that's just disgusting eventually I'm doing it now So you can see with that purple tape, I'd used that before and put it back down. So 
and it still has a lot of stickiness on it as you can see there. Still looks messy. So cleaning up my um, dirty eraser marks with some white gesso. I don't think I used titanium white. I should get it out and sit on my desk because I tend just to go for whatever's there and my gesso is always there, always there. So, uh, yep, I should do that. Sorry, I get out of shot a lot, so I get carried away with what I'm doing. Now, I'd painted these um, before I punched them out. So it was crimson, I think, on one of them, and um, silver on the other. I probably could have got some cardstock and punched it out rather than painting it. Hindsight again. Taking the black roller ball pen and you'd think I'd line it up with the ruler but no I don't get it right. I'll leave some white out there so I will. So just defining those pieces and gluing on the um, circles with the um, Ever Ready Scotch Quick Dry. Right, these images are Google images and I'm just um, punching it out with a Stampin' Up! Circle Punch. Just making enough room there so I can stick the punch in. Always thinking as I'm doing this, you might have noticed there that, right, I put those up there, but I've got two blank spaces down the right hand side. So I'm thinking about what to put there. And I think I also should have put a design, even if I just stamped something in the middle above the smaller ball there. Hmm. Maybe even a lightning strike yeah that would have worked so just um, defining these circles and in, instead of saying play again I put missed again I go over that later on to make it brighter And just outlining those. Yep, cleaning it up again, trying to with some more white paint, paint, gesso, something. Then I thought the flippers needed to be a bit more rum dimensional so I'm using my Pigma Micron brush pen for that so here yep just go over that to make it a bit brighter and now I think the final part is to adhere these starbursts on either side there, just half of them. Probably should have cut it in half and use, put the other one aside for later on. Oh well, okay, neatened it up. That's it, and it's done. 
So stay tuned for tomorrow's prompt, which is indigo. A nice quick one. No idea what I was going to do for this one. So check back and see what I did. Okay, guys. Bye.